everything that's going to be packed in here that I'm taking. Um, first and foremost, I have to have something pine. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty. <laughs> If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. What's up, fertility fam? New folks, hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. Let me know what brings you down in the comments below. All right, as I said, this is my video about what am I taking to my egg retrieval. And I wanted to go over what's going to be in my bag and what is at my getaway spot. I'm at Blue's house. Um, if you are new here, that is my significant other. I'll be staying at his house after the retrieval. And so I've kind of packed everything and taken it and then I'm taking some of it to the center and then some of it will just be here. I've already taken it from my house to here. So first of all, a little bit of context. My egg retrieval will be at my reproductive endocrinologist's office. Um, they have an operating room in there. As the nurse mentioned, Kachina, if you haven't seen that video, you'll, you can see it here um, where she talks about the OR is there on premises. So I just have to go to the regular office, show up at uh, nine o'clock, they're going to do an ultrasound. And then after the ultrasound, confirming I haven't ovulated, they will go on with retrieval. So I'm taking, I carry this bag with me all the time anyway, around the city. I don't usually carry a purse. This is kind of like my purse slash book. It has enough room, um, or not book bag, but bag. It has enough room for like my laptop, and other things and it is actually my to me carry-on that I take when I travel but it's just so convenient I usually pack it everywhere like my metro card if it's here it's easy to reach and it's got lots of pockets so everything is going to be packed in here that I'm taking um, first and foremost I have to have something pineapple-y so these are my compression socks that I'm taking I will wear these during my operating procedure um, while I am knocked out Compression is good so that you don't get blood clots and all that fun stuff. And then pineapples are good fertility look, so I'm bringing that. When I come out of the OR, I want to put these on. These are my nice warm fuzzies, and they've got grippies on them. They usually give you the hospital socks there. 
um, which also have grippies on them, but I just want to be extra warm. This is the same operating um, room or operating area that I was in when I had my polyp removed, so I'm familiar with it. It was cold. I talked to the nurse. She said they have warming blankets now, but I just want to make sure I'm nice and snuggly and cozy. I also got new meditation beads. Um, I was on the brink of rosaries or meditation beads, and I opted for meditation beads for many reasons, mainly because I didn't want to be a hypocrite, but 108 beads so that I can meditate. The vibrations are good, they're calming, and it will help keep me focused. So I've got that. I've got this little scrunchy thing for my hair. Usually once my hair is decided how it's gonna curl for the day, I don't usually futz with it, but this I'm going to put on underneath the little surgical cap thing they give you, just so I can yank it all back. These are nice because it doesn't make a crease in your hair and it doesn't change my curl pattern. So it's great for curly haired girls or straight haired girls, um, because it just it doesn't make a crease. So that is gonna be in the bag as well. I opted for a travel blanket. I think the other, in another video I showed you guys a blanket that I was planning to take, but it wasn't going to fit in here and I didn't want to be super complicated. So this is just a regular old travel blanket. I will have that, again, the nurses assured me that there will be warming blankets and I will not be cold, but just in case. She said, bring your own blanket if it makes you feel comfortable. So I've taken that and everything has been washed in draft, which is like baby soap. Um, so that will be fine taking my eye mask I think this is good to help me relax put me into parasympathetic probably going into the operating room and coming out of it so they don't allow anyone back with you before you go into the operating room so you're kind of in that room alone just hanging out I also brought activities to keep me busy just in case I'm really worried that my anxiety will get the best of me so that's why I have the meditation beads I have my color and conception book with my um, colored pencils that I can use I have my meditation and I have my eye mask so I should not my mind should not go crazy in there I'm bringing a little to go Tylenol which I'll have in my bag just in case I'm achy afterwards I'm sure they'll have Tylenol there but maybe I'll need it from there to the train from the train to here I don't know also taking charcoal pills so immediately after I come out of, I keep saying immediately after when I come out I will take charcoal pills and I have my water. Um, they have water there so I can just refill it. So I have my nice little water bottle and my swell. I'm taking that. Um, I plan to take the charcoal pills to help absorb some of the anesthesia once I'm awake and fine and everything's good just because those are chemicals in my body. I plan to do a 24 hour detox and that will be the start of the detox. I won't have been able to eat from midnight to night when I'm filming this and then from yeah midnight until after the procedure. My procedure is at 9.30 I think it starts. They said it should be about 30 minutes or 10 and then I think they watch you for an hour. I don't know how long but sometime after 11. I should After 11 I should be able to eat and I probably won't eat until 2 just so that I can stay in that fasted state. I'm an intermittent faster now anyway so I normally am not eating at that time so I should be fine but I'll be drinking lots of water and I want to flush all of that out of my system. I'm bringing my little essential oil so you can't go in with any scents on but maybe when I come out I can spray myself or as I'm leaving probably not a good idea to do it in the operate in like the waiting room the OR waiting room just because if no sense, you don't. I don't want to like contaminate anyone else who's prepping for um, egg retrieval. But I'll just have it with me. It's the lavender mix that I made before, and it's relaxing. So I thought I would have that. I have a little bit of lip balm. Again, you can't wear makeup, but this is just some fun lip balm. It is Jack Black. I use this all the time. It's really good. Um, super moisture, moisturizing without being glossy. Uh, what else have I got? Last time they gave me graham crackers coming out and water. So I'm bringing my own, the Annie's graham crackers, the organic ones, just so I have that coming out to snack on when I come out. Um, I know I said I will continue to fast, but sometimes your blood sugar drops and they do your blood pressure. And if it's too low, they ask that you eat before you leave or you stand just because when your blood pressure is super low and you stand, you could pass out. So this is my backup. Last time I didn't think I was going to eat either and then it was like I went crazy with four or five packs of the graham crackers that they gave me. So I'll have these just in case. Um, phone charger because who leaves their house without that? I'm taking this. I took this today for my last, my final blood work to confirm that the HCG shot was administered correctly and I'm going to take it tomorrow for 
the retrieval. I think this is cute. It's three little pieces. I'm rooting for three little follicles and so I'm trying to call the little souls to me to let them know mommy is waiting. So that is there. I'm bringing a Huggy wipes. They have wipes there. They're just very like chemically. I'm just bringing these wipes just in case and then a hairbrush and comb. Who knows? And notes, my notebook in case they have anything that they tell me afterwards that I need to take notes for. So that's everything that I'm taking with me. I'm wearing something easy and simple. They said something elasticy, so I or stretchy. I don't know if they said elasticy, stretchy. So I just have a plain black turtleneck that I'm wearing, long sleeve. It's cold here in New York. And then I've got my cashmere poncho sweater that I'll put on top and it's just got sleeves here and then that part is stitched but it's nice it's loose not form-fitting kind of like free-flowing and then I just have these gray pants they are J. Crew pixie pants so they fit and look like stretch pants for the most part but they do have a zipper in the back so they're it's like a proper pair of pants um just comfy though and so I will look put together, I will feel comfortable, that will make me feel good. I don't feel good out in public looking like I'm going to the gym if I'm not going to the gym, if that makes sense. Okay, so that is going in there. And then the things that I have when I'm coming back, oh, I forgot to mention, I have, I packed a bunch of underwear that don't have elastic in them. So they're just like stretchy. I don't want anything grippy. I'm already feeling a little bloated and I just didn't want to be constricted in any way so I thought of that I also brought with me um in my go away bag to go bag that's funny not like take out these are reusable pads um I'm not sure if there's going to be any leakage after retrieval afterwards but they're in there there it could be so I just want to have those um I don't I usually wear a menstrual cup but I don't think we'll be allowed to put anything in there straight away like plasticky or silicone -y. they like to keep it they've got me taking antibiotics now and I'll take them tomorrow after the procedure so I just want to not risk any contamination have it all come out that is organic hygienic fun and then these two things I've got bromelain or I've cut Brazil nuts, which have bromelain in them, so I'll take a few of those after um, retrieval day. I also have bromelain, which is what I read and said that. I just got bromelain pills that I will take as well. And then some ginger candy in case I am, I don't know, have any sort of digestive issues and not feeling well. And then I have prunes. They're in the fridge though, but I got prunes for, I've talked to a couple of ladies now after retrieval they had movement issues and so I don't have any in case that happens um, in case there are any movement issues I just want to have that on deck I will take the prunes or the prunes they are high in sugar but I'll be drinking a lot of water uh, I think that's probably better for me than Docolax or any sort of laxative or soul softener if it gets progressively worse and like the the prunes don't do the trick of course I would try something else but I thought I would try the most natural way possible and then kind of progressively um, introduce more non-natural substances into my body. I went home, I got my heating bottle, um, hot water bottle. So it's just old school. It's silicone, silicone, silicone. Put water in there and it's got the cute little sweater on there. So that's for my tummy in case there it's like achy and bloaty um, just to make me feel better. And then I have my post like come home retrieval outfit or come to blues retrieval outfit, which are just like short yoga pants and another baby does shirt that I have just to keep me in good spirits. And then I'll keep my socks on. Um, I'm wearing my baby does shirt now. So yeah, that is it. That's kind of like what is going in my bag. I'm curious if anyone else has ha packed a bag to go to the hospital um, or to the operating room or wherever you're going to get your retrieval. I posted on Instagram yesterday about the graham crackers and some people were like, yeah, that's team too much, which, okay, I'm fine. And then there were a few, um, like, m oh, what is it? Little big, little red, I can't remember it red house in the little city in NYC 
Little House, I can't, I will put it here. But she, there was someone on there, is my point, who also took organic graham crackers, who took their own graham crackers to the retrieval. So that I'm not alone. All right, so I'm just gonna pack this all up. This has a little bit of water on it. I just have to remember not to drink it while I'm on the train. Um, charcoal pills. That is it. My bag is packed. I'm all ready to go tomorrow. I, um, yeah, and this just kind of snaps to close it all together. Yeah, I am super nervous, excited, hopeful, prayerful, just giving it all up to God and letting, you know, what will be, what will be. I, I'm editing, I've been editing because I've been behind from being sick. And one of the things I said is like, for you guys to hold me accountable and not let me go. I only want, I only need, and I think I've only done that a couple of times. Otherwise I feel like I've been pretty good about just saying, because there's a little quote on the bottom of the notebook about um, letting go or it's, um, oh, I can't think of it. What is it? Hang on one second and we'll get it. I found it. Um, strive for progress, not perfection. So that was the when I was editing tonight, and I think for the most part I have done that. I have strived for progress, not perfection. And I stumbled a little. I'm human. I'm human. Where I was like, I want a little more. But I said, as long as we're moving forward, as long as we're making progress, it doesn't matter if it's perfect, it doesn't matter if it fits the standards. And I know that I'm already like an outlier in all of this at 47. I just wanted a chance with my own ex and I'm getting that chance. And so I will accept whatever happens as God's will. And I'm happy that I've progressed this far. And yeah. Yeah, I, and thank you guys. I want to thank you guys all for rocking with me and your words of encouragement both here and on Instagram have meant the world to me. And those of you who've reached out to me and t sent me text messages and DMs, um, I haven't been on my email really. I've just been a little crazy. But yeah, thank you ladies. Thank you so much. If you're new here and you're wondering what's all this going on this is a lovely wonderful community please consider subscribing and joining in the fertility fam all of the ladies here are wonderful um i couldn't ask for a better bunch of ttc sisters and i've always said you know it's not a family that i would have chosen but i am so proud to walk with all of you ladies i am so proud to call you sister <sighs> thank you all right, that's it, guys. I'm going to pack it up. Uh, well, this is already packed up. Pack all this other stuff up and try to relax for the rest of the night. Um, have a little dessert before the clock strikes midnight. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm. Baby, that's to us all. When the sun comes shining through To make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometime And I want to spend some time with you